Hey, what's up guys? I'm out here at this isolated flatwood pond and today I'm out here looking for the broken striped newt and it is a member of the red spotted newt or eastern newt family so uh, uh, I've seen some here before but never made a video um, they're pretty easy to find out here just got a dip net for a little bit which means taking a net and uh, getting all the uh, aquatic vegetation up and sift through the uh, the stuff you get in the net so I'm gonna see what I can find so uh, this is the net I'm gonna use it's just a uh, little fishing net as you can see I've been dip netting a little bit but I haven't found anything yet I've uh, taken my shoes off because I don't want to get them wet so let's see what we can find and this is how you do it just go back in there break through it like that <sighs> let's see what we got all right I'm gonna dump it out right now Let's see if we got anything. Just gonna sit through it a little bit. Oh, sorry. I don't know if I have anything. Oh, here we got one. Yes. Here we go. This is a broken striped newt, or Nodopithalmus viridescens dorsalis. And uh, it's a fairly common species out here at this pond. And from the looks, it's an adult male. Now, uh,. Broken striped newt comes from the fact that these guys have sort of stripes going down the back, but instead of being just a single line, they're broken up into little dots and dashes, as you can fi faintly see. Hold on. And uh, there, as you can see, they're an orange coloration. The body is generally a olive green color, but I've seen a couple that were brown in coloration. And uh, the belly is a yellowish cream color with little black spots and uh, that's pretty much the easiest way to identify these and uh, these the broken striped newt is found only from North Carolina South Carolina in uh, parts of Georgia and uh, which makes it mainly a coastal species and uh, they're really neat species uh, this is just one I've seen today I've seen uh, we saw about four or five of them last time I came here I made a video but it uh, didn't turn out right so I'm back here again and uh, this is a male because if you look at his tail it is very flattened while a females will be flattened but it won't have those huge ridges on the tail as you can see that big flap and also the male has these raspy black projections on the hind legs as you can see right there and that helps it grip the female during amplexus and as well as the swollen, clo swollen cloaca which means it's in a uh, breeding mode and uh, females are a bit larger, I believe. Uh, we saw a couple large ones out here last time. And uh, just got to keep them wet. And uh, what's interesting about newts, pretty much all of them in general, is that they have a stage where they're called Fs. And they're mainly terrestrial, which means they're not aquatic. They're actually land dwelling. And uh, these ones have dry skin with little warts on them. I'm not sure about this species, but I think this one has a more of a smooth skin as an eft but after the F stage they come back to the water and become this form right here a uh, aquatic form and they pretty much live out the rest of their life as an aquatic species and as you see they're really beautiful it's kinda hard to see because the sun's right in my uh, viewfinder so but a very beautiful species I'm kinda happy to get one today I was not sh quite sure if I'd see one but yeah, those little spots on the back are really beautiful. They're like a neon orange color. Oop. And uh, to help with swimming, for a male, they have paddles on the back of each feet. And as you see, the back feet are really wide, which is because there's like a fin flap, which aids in swimming to catch up with females and stuff. Um, not all populations of newts go through the F stage. Some of them remain aquatic their entire life. In the case of this pond, I'm pretty sure I think they do stay aquatic their whole lives and as larvae they do have gills and then they lose those and breathe air so it's not hurting this that it's on land because you see there's nostrils on the tip of his nose now around this time the females are uh, or they're actually breeding season so uh, the females are gravid and the males are in the uh, the breeding stage and so what the females will do is they'll get the male to uh, lay a spermatophore, which is basically a clump of uh, 
uh, reproductive cells, and they, uh, and then she grips that and puts it on her eggs, and that's basically how they fertilize. And uh, they all do this underwater, so it's pretty com complex, I believe. And then the female will uh, attach those to under uh, underwater vegetation, and then uh, she'll basically leave those there to hatch, and then they'll be little tadpole sort of things. All right, guys, I'm letting them go. Hold on. There he goes. You see those broken stripes? They're very camouflage on the water. That broken up stripe kind of aids in camouflage. So, yep, there he goes. I uh, will see you guys later.